up, Humanoid Nation? So we're back at you with some reactions today. Today is the five YouTubers that have never been seen. Let me guess. I'm gonna go say, I ain't everything. Grade A under A. Annoying Orange, because I've never seen his real face. Um, who else? I don't. That's probably the first three I can think of right now. Yeah, that's basically it, those three, but hell, let's figure out what these people have. Let's do this shit! <laughs> intro is awesome. I love the intro. Even though a lot of YouTubers share what many argue to be too much personal information about themselves, this guy has come a long way. If you see his earlier videos, he was a kid. Shown their face Holy yet. shit, he so hit today, puberty. Talk about five unidentified YouTubers. Go back, go back to the beginning of his videos. He was a kid. You can hear the voice. Alex is a Change. YouTuber that hates on a variety of subjects and discusses them through his YouTube channel appropriately named I Hate Everything. Even though the titles of his videos often exaggerate his feelings on a subject simply to fit the I Hate Blank format, it hasn't stopped many True, from but his curious. name is I Hate Everything, so Possibly true. the best example. Oh, I'm not even going to go with that joke, because that joke is done to death. Cool cat it... saves the kids for a if you hate everything, series, does that mean you hate Derek everything? Savage shut down the video, then had a small internet breakdown with him arguing that oh I Oh my hate god, Derek Savage. Review his movie. This guy eventually the cannot handle criticism at all. Of course, the reason I bring this channel up is that instead of talking to a camera, he uses a set of cartoon representations of himself so that no one knows what he looks like even now with over 300,000 subscribers even in his podcast that he does in his jarhead video YouTube he doesn't show his face at all As he the just hears with voice. The most subscribers on this list it's cryotic? surprising that cryotic can have over 2 million never dollars, heard of cryotic and yet still never have his face oh, revealed oh. the internet to see. can we say oh his pranks has never shown his face a clear picture of him has yet to emerge most notable yeah, for his let's pranks. plays of a variety let's see if Otis Pranks is on here. has built an audience on his lively personality, as well as his collaborative efforts with YouTube's most famous personality, PewDiePie. Because of this, he has become one of the biggest uh, owners PewDiePie. on the site. While Cry has made it clear I that he doesn't want to reveal his true identity with the internet I don't watch his videos, it is, you never I don't know like his stuff. You know it out that. Whether he likes I'm not going to bash on him. Although I used to back in the day, but I grew up. We all grow up. We Another all do mistakes. The channel that doesn't reveal their identity is the RPG Minx. RPG Minx. Who's a British Never heard of this channel person. that has built up a following playing games with a variety of popular channels. The only Minx I heard of is Hannah Minx. Is she Shem still Rapper around? Much more. Showing it her titties up. More so than any other Sorry, genre I don't mean to bash. Wait, I did bash on the final but others. But were many other channels that was... revealing way too much with personal vlogs. They've wanted life. to fuck the entire internet too. I think this is mainly true because with gaming you can talk over the game without much of a need to show your face. But even this seems to be changing with people wanting more of channels that they can relate to on a more personal level. Ask a Gangsta is a YouTube channel. I heard of this guy. For the Never seen his videos before. On the website Omega, where users are randomly connected with other users. This allows them to construct a variety of tactics in an attempt to get a reaction out of the victim. While there are plenty of channels that mess with people on Omegle, one of the things that makes Asuka Gangs to so Oh, Todd in the Shadows, too. Don't the forget Todd in the Shadows. There are shows Jana and black sunglasses. Because of this, he has never revealed his identity to the internet, even after all these years. When the channel reached 500,000 subscribers, there was a very quick reveal of what his eyes look like. Then for 600,000, his followers on Twitter voted that he should show his hair. <laughs> so at this rate, his entire face should be revealed by 1 million. He must be so fucking hot. All the YouTubers that choose not to he must be so fucking hot when he puts all that, all that shit. Easily the most concerned God, it must be. Not finding out the slightest they heat, man. Him. They heat. Since 2008, he has been making very simple instructional prank videos that anyone can follow along and make as well. NXT Tracker not never heard of this guy. Not Tracker not share much information about his personal life, but changes his voice so people can't figure it out what like he a sounds juggalo. like. Wears a mask so people can't see what he looks like and even wears a long sleeve shirt and gloves so no one can see what skin complexion he has. Don't Makes worry, sense. it won't break it. At least just till you can frustrate your victims thinking they need to buy a new sweater. He even changes his voice. The one clue we have about his real identity is that many of his videos are sponsored by National Hair Centers based in Phoenix, Arizona. So that is probably where he lives and perhaps someone he knows works there. 
Well, he has teased about finally doing a face reveal. He always backs out. Probably not. Fans getting irritated. I've never seen him so. I but honestly, the show, show is so face. bizarre. I think finding out who he is would take away from the fun. Yeah. Well, there you have my picks for five YouTubers that have never been seen before. And if you want to check out any of their videos, I'll give links to their channels in the description below. And if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe or even follow me on Twitter. Subscribe so, to Gamer from Mars. Next time, He's pretty cool. Watching. He does some awesome stuff. He did some game reviews when he first started. Like, oh my god, he, sound, he was like, I think he was 12 or something? He was like a preteen. Go back and watch his earlier, his first videos. The kid, wow, from his voice, he, he, his, until his balls dropped and became him. So who else has him shown his face? How Too Basic has never shown his face. And I'm just wondering, is that guy naked in all his video? Cause like, it seems that he's half naked all the time. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't put grade A under A in this. And yet he has I Hate Everything. Owen His Pranks has never shown his face. Owen His Pranks, yeah. Oh my god, I, I had one in my head. I forgot what it was, though. Ah. Oh, there's a lot. I guess like a lot of people want their privacy. Todd in the Shadows, also. He never showed his face. I don't know. I, ah. If I can think of it, I'll put it in the comments below. Right now, I... It, Right now, I'm having a brain fart. I can't think of the one person I was just thinking of that I cannot name now. But yeah, go check out Gamer from Mars. Check out his earlier vids, because, like, my God, that guy has grown up. <laughs> he started as a kid, now he's fully a man. And you can tell by his voice and shit. You'll be surprised by his voice. God damn. All right, take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye. <laughs>